Hi Aquarius, this is Lucky with Lucky 7 Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. This is your April 2021 general reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. These messages could resonate for you anywhere where you have Aquarius in your natal chart. They can also resonate in the reverse uh, for you Aquarius or the cross watcher as well. Um, keep in mind that maybe not every message will resonate with you. If they don't resonate, check your chart and your other videos, your moon and your rising sign videos. Um, to get a more complete message or get a personal reading with me, they are available on my website, lucky 7 And uh, there is a sale going on if you're interested in that. If this reading resonates with you and you just want to know more, there's a, uh, the extended version of this reading. The link will be in also in the description box below. Um, if you want to enter to win the free Cardology report that I'm offering two of my subscribers at the end of the month, you can do that by being subscribed to my channel, liking this video, and commenting hashtag Team Aquarius in the comment section down below. Um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Remember, guys, this is general, so it could resonate for you within your romantic love life, within your family and friendships, or um, even within your career for some of you. It will be different for everyone. Um, like I said, for a more complete message, you know, you would need a personal reading. But um, these messages are general. Okay, so keep an open mind, all right? Aquarius, bottom of the deck. Guys, before I even get into this, I forgot to tell you, I'm bringing back the, back the letters uh, this month. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm gonna pull the letters from this bag. If you're new here, then you probably don't know what this is. Uh, you could find your name, your partner's name, some additional messages. Usually what sticks out for me in the very beginning is... Uh, messages that you need to hear. So if you want to stay around for that, that will, uh, I'll do that at the end. All right, guys. So Aquarius, bottom of the deck, you do have the sun card. All right. This is Leo energy. Some of you, there could be an important Leo in your life um, that's significant for you. Now for others, this talks about happiness, right? For some of you, this is definitely maybe a Leo from the past that you're looking back on or when you were happy in the past, all right, looking at a past person, having that nostalgia, thinking about this person, wanting to speak to them and tell them how you feel and open up emotionally, I feel like um, there is something here that maybe you're having a difficult time letting go of from the past or a person that you're having a hard time letting go of from the past, all right? Um, so let's see. Your first message here. You do have, let me move these up, so, okay, and there we go. All right, so you do have the Six of Pentacles, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers in Reverse, Gemini Energy, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, okay, and the Hierophant. Okay, let's move these over so you can see them better. And then we're going to get your challenge this month. Let's see what is challenging you, Aquarius, in the month of April. All right, Spirit, what's challenging Aquarius in the month of April? Tell me what's challenging them. Your challenge is a seven of pentacles, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you've got the ten of wands. So before we even pull your overall energy, you know what? Let's do that. Let's pull your overall energy, and then we'll talk about these individually and clarify. What is challenging, or what's the overall energy for Aquarius for April 2021? What's the overall energy for Aquarius? Your overall energy, Aquarius, is the king of clubs energy and the nine of hearts. So there's an ending to a relationship, I feel like, that you guys are having to mentally overcome. This ending, I think, could have definitely taught you the biggest lesson of your life or could be teaching you that, all right? Now, your challenge, the seven of pentacles, um, and the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I think that there is this huge weight or burden on your shoulders 
that you're feeling. It's like something feels so heavy on your back. And I think it what it really is is that you put a lot of time into a relationship or a connection. And um, I feel like this has left you feeling uncertain. This for some of you, this is you like having to wait for something, you know, having to wait for something or for someone that you've planted the seeds. And it just is like, you don't know if this is going to grow in the way that you want or anticipate it to. Okay. Um, so there could definitely be some issues going on with you having to exercise patience. Right. Um, and it's, it's such a weight on your shoulders and you're just like, Oh, I wish this would be over already. Right now, looking at this, I feel like there's been a huge heartbreak and disappointment, um, maybe because somebody was acting, um, they, they try to get away with something. Okay. Um, this, I, I feel like the secret, whatever it was that they were trying to get away with was revealed. That's just what I'm getting. Um, I do think that this may have to do with a higher level commitment, a marriage, someone that you were with for a long time. Um, I feel like you gave to the, or you've, you've given in this situation, you know? Um, but I, I see it's an offer. Somebody could even have an offer of stability here. Okay. Side note for some of you, this could be a new job offer, um, that's coming in in the month of April, just for those of you that want to know that. Um, now for others, this is a situation where I feel like this could be something where someone is offering, I feel like this has to do with someone's job, their work. Um, there could be a love offer, you know, somebody was given money or given gifts, given something that seemed very stable and it created a heartbreak a disappointment, you know, um, for you or vice versa. I mean, these messages could be reversed. Maybe you did this, you know, did something that was traumatic and harmful in this situation. Some of you there, this is like your partner, the person that you loves, you know, you're finding out that they were sleeping with somebody at work. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm seeing. All right. Um, and this could have already, I feel like this already happened with the lovers in reverse and uh, with the lovers in reverse, this is also an energy. First of all, it's Gemini energy, but, um, and you've got Taurus energy here as well, but this also talks about decisions being made. You know, I feel like there's decisions that are being made that may even be out of your hands, but let's clarify these energies to see what is actually going on here. And I forgot, you guys did have a jumping card from a different deck when I was doing the pre-shuffle and we'll go over that when I get to that deck, okay? Um, why is the Six of Pentacles here for Aquarius? Six of Pentacles for Aquarius. Okay, and you've got the Knight of Cups in reverse, all right? And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here rescinded a love offer. It's like maybe they've fallen out of love with you or they're not giving you the love that you feel like you deserve because they're giving it to someone else. You know, you've got the Six of Pentacles up right there and the Six of Pentacles reversed in this, uh, in the clarifying deck. And it's like, I feel like someone made a decision to go in a different direction. Now for others, this could be a, a situation where you were dealing with someone and maybe you were the one that was giving to the relationship and they were not giving in the relationship. Okay. Let's clarify further. Give me one for the six of pentacles for Aquarius. Yep. This, this is definitely like some level of a breakup Aquarius. It's like somebody doesn't want to work on this and somebody does. And I think that this, or isn't able to work on this any longer. And I feel like this is torturous for you. I think that you are literally in your head being tortured by this situation. You can't stop thinking about it. It's haunting you. All right. Um, you may not. I think that this was a quick decision for some of you. This was a decision that was made 
and you didn't expect it, you didn't anticipate it, somebody, some of you could be dealing with another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like neither are of these energies are vibrating at their highest level vibration, okay? But I do also see a positive change here. There's this, um, I feel like somebody here may, I think they're being stubborn right now. Or there's some stubborn energy here. Let's see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Aquarius in April? And you've got the Two of Wands. All right, Aquarius. So somebody is having to decide or is deciding to let go of something that maybe they were holding on to for something that feels more stable. All right. Um, and it could be you've got the Seven of Swords again. So Seven of Swords two times. Maybe you guys hurt each other a lot in this relationship. All right. There was a lot of uh, secretive energy, like trying to get away with things, get away with something in this situation, um, overindulging even. Okay. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius that may not be vibrating at their highest level vibration, or there's a lack of balance in this situation. Let's see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Aquarius? And you've got the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, someone is giving up on something for a new beginning, um, giving up on love. Look at that. It's like, and this is maybe even causing someone's emotions to be sort of all over the place, very emotionally distraught, saying mean things, saying nasty things, hurtful because of the ending of this situation, you know? Um, let's see. Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers reversed? Lovers reversed. And you've got the five of pentacles. So someone made a decision to leave you out in the cold or that made you feel very alone. Um, and it could have happened in secret. You know, it could have happened. There was maybe secrets attached to the situation. Some of you it could have to do with a Pisces or Cancer person. You also have Aries and Virgo. This is somebody that's being almost narcissistic. Somebody that is trying to control the scenario or situation, okay? Not telling you everything. I also feel like there's this energy of somebody walking away and making a choice to move on from this relationship. And this is something that you're really having a hard time sort of letting go of. You know, somebody is having, you know, making a choice between two people. For some of you, this could be like your twin flame, and that's the reason why you're having such a hard time letting this person go. This is somebody that mirrors you that you feel so connected to. Tell me about the lovers in reverse with the five of pentacles. You got a couple messages. You've got the hermit in reverse here, Virgo energy, and the death card. So Scorpio energy. I definitely see where this situation has come to an end or a closure, right? Um, someone has decided that they want to give up on this, on this relationship. Okay. They want to bring it to an end. I feel like they want healing. They want maybe for some of you, this could have to do with a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo, or it could be that this is somebody that you're dealing with that is maybe more about their money, their financial resources. All right, Aquarius. Um, hmm. I feel like this person is not giving in this situation. And it. I think some of you guys just feel very stuck, okay? And it, you may feel very overlooked, like this person is being stubborn. They're not seeing what you have to offer. They're not seeing what's right in front of them. And they're giving up, even though you guys planted these seeds together, they're giving up to create a change. This could even be a physical move. Um, and they're not offering you love, right? This feels like a weight on your shoulders. So let's see why the Three of Swords is here for Aquarius. You got the Three of Swords with the Three of Wands in reverse. And the bottom of the deck, again, with this uh, 
Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. This also this almost, almost seems like like career reading. Like somebody is very focused on like their financial stability, their money rather than love. It's like Someone could be choosing to be with someone because of financial stability rather than love. Like, and I think maybe that could be for some of you what's hurting you the most is like you really love this person, but maybe you don't have a lot to offer them financially. And there might might even be someone in the background or someone else here that is able to offer more to this person financially and that's why they're choosing them or they chose to to be with them, okay? But I feel like somebody here is definitely in the place of kind of taking action to let go of a relationship. Let's see, give me one more for the three of swords. Yep, for some of you, this is a player. Like somebody feels, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and it... This could be somebody like they're moving, they're moving on, you know, they see success with someone else. Um, they could definitely be at a distance from you. Okay. I feel like they cut off communication here. They don't want to work. You know, they're not working on this. They're not showing you love. They may have even, they're, it, it, I don't want to say they fell out of love because they haven't. The you know the Queen of Cups is here. The fact that it's showing up says that there is love there, but there's like uh, the emotions are kind of all over the place. I feel like there's some secrets, some things that you don't know about. Some um, there are secrets there. You know, there's some things that you that maybe they're not telling you, or you just uh, I don't know. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Swords here? for Aquarius. You got judgment in reverse. So this person made a final decision about the relationship or is making one. They don't want to be juggled with. Um, they don't want to be juggled with. Okay. I also, look at this. It's like, Somebody is not fighting for the relationship. Maybe because uh, someone is stuck, somebody is trapped, somebody with the devil there. And in that depiction, the devil is in a cage. So it could be that somebody is locked up. Um, let's see. Why is the seven of swords here with judgment? The three of pentacles in reverse. Someone does not, I don't, this is kind of an energy of somebody wanting, look at that, the knight of swords, they want stability, right? So maybe you're not able to give them that stability. I almost feel like you're dealing with somebody that is not, I feel like you love this person more than they love you. For some of you, that's the case. The Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. Okay. And you've got the Eight of Swords. And also the Page of Pentacles. You could have kids with this person. Somebody may have stuck you with the kids. For some of you. Let's see. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you you're keeping the kids from this person or they've kept the kids from you. Um, and that's causing you like where you just are going crazy. I feel like for some of you, it's like you want to talk to this person about the stability of this relationship. You want to stabilize this. You want to figure it out, but you don't know how maybe they blocked you. Okay. Um, Let's see. I feel like somebody is not being honest. All right, let's talk about this challenge. Why is the challenge the Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius? The 
the lovers. Okay, so yeah, this is <laughs> the challenge is putting in the work, right? In this relationship and being patient this month for you, Aquarius, because somebody has to make a choice. They've got other options in this situation that kind of look better to them. Um, yeah, I feel like they're trying to move on. I feel like they're trying to move on, maybe even a physical move, but I also feel like there, this is this may be a front, like they're still watching you or they're still, they still love you. They still care. Let's see. Give me one more for the challenge this month for Aquarius. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it's in reverse. So it's telling me whoever you're dealing with. Uh, may not be taking any action. If you're dealing with a fire sign, that person's um, actions or lack thereof may be the challenge in this uh, situation. And it does not feel good. Okay. It doesn't feel good to you. Tell me why the king of clubs is here. The king of clubs is the master teacher. So this is meant to teach you something to get control over your thoughts and your emotions and the way that you react to people. For some of you, the king of clubs is, um, it also represents like law enforcement, things of that nature, like legal situations. So that definitely could be something that you're dealing with this month. Um, some of you may not, may be seeing someone at a legal, uh, at court, I don't know. Let's see why the King of Clubs is here. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Huh. Oh, wait. So the Two of Swords, I picked it up and it looked like the Two of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. But there was an extra card there with the Page of Swords reversed. So I feel like there's probably this block in communication between you and this person. You're unable to talk to them, unable to speak to them in some way. Um, and for some of you, it's just that there's a lot of lies there. Somebody has said a lot of things that were not true. Okay. Um, and I feel like this is almost like a battle. You could be in competition for some of you with someone else, you know, for somebody's affection here. Or for others of you, this is like you fighting, you know, um, you have you fighting this battle within yourself about this situation. I do feel like a lot of you guys definitely are feeling stuck. Okay. And it's like there's nothing that you could do about this situation, about this person walking away. And this may have happened abruptly, like you did not expect it. It was not something you could have even guessed or anticipated was going to happen. Tell me about the king of clubs. You got the king of clubs with the uh, ten of pentacles in reverse. So this is somebody maybe trying to break up the family or doesn't feel like there's any sort of abundance in you know, with the family environment, look at that four of wands reverse. Some of you could even be going through like a divorce with this. Maybe you're married to this person, but I see you healing from the loss and I do see things coming together. This is okay. Um, you got the queen of swords in the upright. So somebody could even be like a single parent feeling kind of bitter that They've had to be a single parent here. Um, if you're dealing, I feel like there is going to be surprise communication between the two of you, right? And yeah, I feel like there is going to be some sort of surprise communication or let's see, give me one more for the King of Clubs energy for Aquarius. Oh. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, but this card also, mm, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yikes. 
and the Hierophant in reverse. So you guys may be going through a divorce, a separation, you know, uh, with this person. Um, and it's, it's a painful situation, I think, either for you or for them. Like somebody here is having a difficult time with this. And it's like, you want to reach out. You want this to work. You want this to grow. I feel like somebody's done a lot of shadow work or inner work within themselves. Let's see. We're going to keep going and get try to see if we can get a more complete uh, message here for Aquarius. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of, what is this? April 2021. Regarding this situation. Air sign. So you could be dealing with another air sign or someone who has air in their chart. Um, Aries, or I don't know why I keep saying that. Uh, that matters for somebody. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication or communication is going to be necessary in this situation, right? This is going to be something where somebody's got to speak up, okay? And got to speak their truth. For some of you, this has to do with some sort of addiction. This could be somebody having to deal with like drugs or alcohol or using that as a coping mechanism in some way. For some of you, this is just this feeling of being um, addicted to the situation, addicted to the person. I do see you guys becoming single or... For some of you, there could have been an addiction to sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever that has caused you to become single from this person. All right. I see jealousy. There's a lot of jealousy included in this uh, particular situation. You know, somebody may be jealous. And I think that there is this energy of like you working towards healing your heart in this situation. All right. Um, what else? Okay. Yep. So this situation was shocking to you. This was a tower moment that you did not anticipate. This changed everything for you. Um, some of you are dealing with someone who is a show off. Maybe you are the show off here, but it's like somebody could be trying to show off or like, I feel like there's somebody that's kind of blocking the relationship between you and this person or keeping you from being able to come back together. It could be somebody showing off here, somebody buying gifts, somebody being like a paymaster or whatever, because I just feel this energy of the person that you're dealing with is moving on because for some of you, because of the financial support and stability, especially if you're dealing with somebody who's like a single mom or a single parent of some kind. All right. That's not a message for everyone. That's only going to resonate for a few, but that's what I'm feeling. All right. Look at this. The center of this spread is true love. Like you, I think this is your true love. This is your, your partner that you're supposed to be with, right? There could definitely be a lot of gossip surrounding the situation. People could be talking. There could be a lot of like, uh, this may have happened publicly, or there's a lot of people that know what is going on here. Let's see. Yeah, somebody here is walking away or has walked away due to jealousy. You know, this could even be that somebody is very jealous that someone is walking away from the situation. Um, somebody's definitely walking away from the past, trying to let go of the past in this situation. I do see there being nostalgia. It's like looking back and this could even be that there is somebody that has walked away in this situation. They know that you're a true love here and they're, they're still thinking about you. All right. But I feel like there's this energy of what's done. Like somebody went too far. Okay. Let's see. Spirit is telling you don't settle. Why is I'm going to find out. We're going to clarify all these messages, guys. So don't don't fret. All right. We're going to clarify them. That's what it is. Look at that. You got don't settle in poverty at, at the bottom of the deck. This is someone that you are dealing with who's trying to rise 
financially through the ranks. They may not want to settle for you in the sense that they feel like you are not financially stable enough for them. And they are not trying to settle for like a lower level life or lifestyle. They want the lavish things. They want better for themselves and they don't feel like you can provide it for some of you. Okay. For others, this could be a situation where somebody not settling makes you feel alone or it's like them having this ambition to move forward left you feeling alone. Let's see. This is definitely created family issues. Okay. Maybe you have, like I said, maybe you have children with this person. Okay. Um, yeah. You could have children with this person, but I also feel like this is like the issues are shallow. Like this is not, somebody's only seeing the surface of, uh, of the situation. I feel like the timing is definitely off. Like the timing is bad in this. Um, hmm. Somebody is not telling the truth. Somebody's a liar. Somebody's not being honest. Let's clarify these messages. I want to see what's going on. All right. Tell me about this air sign energy. Why is the air sign here for Aquarius for April? And you got the queen of swords in reverse. So Aquarius, you could definitely be in this place where you feel um, very bitter about this situation, about somebody walking away. All right. You feel very bitter. You feel alone. You feel like you've got to protect yourself. What is this addiction? What is the addiction here? You, you love this person. The addiction is your feelings, your emotions um, for some of you. Okay. For some of you, it's definitely a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone with fire in their chart. I feel like you love this person. You feel so connected to them, okay? You want to reach out. You want this person to extend their heart. Why is jealousy here? And you got the five of swords. You're, there is some jealousy because somebody is choosing. Somebody has choices or you have competition for this person's affection. Some of you, it's a Virgo. For others, um, maybe there's some jealousy in reference to a Virgo for some, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. For others, this is like you feeling very alone, very depressed, very sad, and you feel like you have to compete or you're in competition with someone for somebody's affection here. Shocking. Why is this shocking here? The temperance, Sagittarius energy. Some of you, maybe there was a Sagittarius that shocked the shit out of you because they didn't choose you in this situation. For others, this was a situation where it was outside of your hands. You didn't even have any options in this. It happened so fast. You didn't see it coming. Um, but I also feel like with the temperance card here, there is some balance coming in. It's like something you have to be patient with. All right. Which is the kind of a good thing. I feel like, let's see. Tell me about shocking in the temperance card. You guys can't get away from this fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So yeah, there was a disappointment, a huge heartbreak here. Some of you, this was a third party. Okay. Um, and someone got left out in the cold. Okay, because of a love offer. And I feel like this was a, a betrayal. This person may have made you feel betrayed. Why is true love here in the middle of the reading? Why is true love here? The eight of pentacles, the eight of wheels reverse. Guys, this is your true love, but they're not working on it. It's like this person, honestly, is being so stubborn 
for some of you, this person's being so stubborn. They're not giving in this situation. It's like they're not budging. But there is, so I feel like this person loves you. There's, they still love, let, let me get one more. The star card. This is you. This is you. Okay. Uh, Aquarius. And then you got the king of swords. What did I say about somebody being stubborn? This is someone that has pulled away. They're not working on it. They're not giving to the relationship. They know that you're a true love. They know that they can have success with this relationship. But I think that they're really in their head about it about cutting this relationship off, even though they're not communicating with you, you know. And again, with the two of pentacles reversed, it's like one of the things that this that's on this person's mind is poverty, is like not wanting to juggle financially, okay? And I know that that sounds so crazy, but it just keeps showing up. It's relevant for someone here. Walking away. Why is walking away here? What is this here for Aquarius? The chariot. Cancerian energy. Somebody wants to, you know, it's like they're moving forward. Look at that. The will of fortune. They're moving on towards more, it's like financial support. This could even be somebody like driving or that is, I feel like that is already at a distance from you. Okay. Um, it's like they're not, either you're not able to offer them any sort of stability or they're not able to offer it to you. You're trying to hold on to them. You know, like you're holding on as tightly as you can. And then... There is this tower moment where this person stops giving, okay? And they stop communicating. And this causes you to really be in your head. A lot of you, I really feel like this is a fire sign. I think this person is being very manipulative in this situation. Somebody has a lot of manipulation going on. Look at that, because they're being self-indulgent, because they're being very selfish in this situation. It's like and for some of you, it's, yeah, it's like they're not able to see what is right in front of them. Okay. Give me one more for walking away in the chariot for Aquarius. The Queen of Wands. What is, who is this freaking fire sign, guys? What is going on here? Um. Mm, it's funny because as much as you've got walking away and someone like, moving or moving on with the the queen of wands here you got the two of wands so if you're dealing with this fire sign they may have walked away or like walking away but then there's this energy of still holding on of still kind of being stuck of still being in their head so i feel like well whoever you're dealing with they got a bomb game face going like this is somebody that is like master of the game faces here. This is someone that is being stubborn with you, but it's almost like they are literally ignoring their heart and they have not fully let go. They are not fully letting you go, even though they may have already moved on. Look at that. It's like, this is somebody that's almost, they're so good at manipulation. They're trying to manipulate themselves into not, into like not paying attention to their feelings. Okay. This is somebody that is thinking only of themselves and the abundance that they want to have. All right. Uh, look at that behind it. The four of cups again here where it's like, they're not even seeing the bigger picture. They're overlooking the bigger picture here. Aquarius. Okay. Why is don't settle? here for Aquarius. And you've got the uh, strength card in reverse, Leo energy. All right. Um, this is somebody is lacking confidence 
that they can manifest this new beginning. All right. Maybe because someone has walked away, this has taken a toll on somebody's confidence level here. All right. And it's like, you guys do not want to let this person go. You don't. Why is family issues here? What family issues is Aquarius experiencing from this? The three of wands in reverse. So this is something, you know, this person didn't want to wait for you or it's like they're not waiting. They're not waiting around. They're that and that's created family issues here. They made some choices, um, some decisions here that created some issues. And I feel like they've got this new love opportunity. You know, new a new prize, like a new toy, and it left you feeling lonely. You know after all this work that you put in. What is bad timing? Bad timing. Why is this here? The Hierophant in reverse. This person, I feel like they left this commitment, but the timing of it is off in some way. It's torturing you. Yep. It's torturing you. It's, it's unexpected. This is like, you, you, hmm. But this changed you in some way. This changed you forever. Like you're forever changed by this situation. That this person no longer wants to fight for the relationship. And they're they're cutting off communication. Okay. You're you feel stuck and you're not able to move forward. Um, this person may be like getting away with some negative negative things feelings, whatever, emotions. Um, but I don't... I feel like you feel so connected to this person. You don't want them to leave. You don't... You don't want them to walk away, but they're so stubborn right now. They're so... They're really ignoring their feelings that... You don't have any control over their actions. Um, you can only control yours. So let's see what this person that you are in separation from right now or coming into separation from wants you to know. All right. This was your jumping card, guys, that I had when I shuffled this deck. And it was, I fear that you will reject me. I fear that you will reject me. So maybe this person underlying, right? They may not be showing you any love. They may not be able to communicate with you the way that you want them to. But I feel like somebody here did something so bad or like such a, um, it was such a betrayal so to speak, that hurt you in such a deep way. And they know that, that they don't think that they can come back from this. All right. They don't think they can come back to you and work this out. It's like, and then look at that at the bottom of the deck. I'm happy that it's over. So this could indicate for some of them or some of you that like I said, this person is very conflicted. And one minute, it's like they love you and they realize that and they want to come towards you. And then the next minute, it's like, I, I'm good. You know, they, they fix that mask that they have on. Let's see. What would this person tell Aquarius if they, if they could? Their deepest secrets and fears that Aquarius needs to know. Wow. I forgive you, Aquarius. This person wants to forgive you, or maybe they have forgiven you in the month of April. You know, I forgive you, but you are not a part of my plan. Wow. This could actually really indicate, like, like I said, when you, when I see this, you are not a part of my plan. 
this person has bigger goals, bigger dreams, bigger than what you can give them right now. So it's like, yeah, there's love, but they're not thinking with their heart. They're thinking with their logical like mind, all right? They're thinking with, uh, with strategy. They're being very strategic right now. Yes, it is too late. So this is something, you know, the, the person is telling you. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. I took the easy way out. Aquarius. This person knows they messed up. They know it. They know they messed up. And now they feel like they can't come back. And there's a part of them that feels like what they did, even if they come back to you, the relationship is so broken, it will never be the same. It will never be the same. Because they, you will never be able to heal from this hurt. Look at that. I took the easy way out. This is somebody that did some sneaky situation 